Hello and welcome to Kids Kitchen. My name is Miss Kate and I'm going to be doing one of my very favorite treats with you today. With summer coming, I am looking forward to walking through carnivals and tasting one of the very best drinks ever made, lemon shakeups. So today I'm gonna show you how to make those at home. They're simple, they're delicious, and they're great for a hot day. So let's go ahead and wash our hands and get started. So you're gonna need a few kitchen utensils, not many, these are really easy to make. And if you don't have the things that I'm showing here, that's okay, I'll give you other ideas and ways that you can make this without special utensils. So one of the first things that I'm gonna show you is this little citrus juicer. This is really just a small, easy tool for juicing lemons, limes, oranges, things like that. So I'll show you how I use mine, but if you don't have one, you can always juice your lemons or limes by hand also. So you're gonna start by cutting your lemon in half, and I'm gonna use today a clean ball jar. Um, this is something that you might see used if your mom or grandma or someone you know cans things, makes like relish or jelly or jam. Um, I like to use them for drinks. So you're gonna need something with a lid to do lemon shake up. So this is the perfect thing to use for your lemon shake up. Um, see if you have one of those in the house. If not, anything with a tight fitting lid will do. So go ahead and cut, after you wash your lemon, you're gonna wanna wash this. Um, go ahead and cut it in half. And once you have your lemon half, you can either squeeze it directly into your container or if you have a cool little citrus juicer like I do, you're just gonna place that over the top and kind of squeeze and gently turn it just like this. And what's really neat about these is it collects all the juice in the container below and it's not hard on your hands. Sometimes when you juice a lemon, um, it can be a little painful if you have cuts on your hands because of the acidity or, you know, it can just be hard to get all the juice out and um, it can hurt your hands to, if you have to squeeze a lot. So we're going to juice this entire half of the lemon. And when you're done, my half of the lemon, it was a pretty big lemon. I got two full tablespoons out of that. So I'm going to take the top off of my juicer here and put that to the side. And then I'm going to put my two tablespoons of lemon juice into my jar here, just like that. And then you're gonna to wanna to take a cup measure, make sure it's a liquid cup measure with a half a cup of water and pour that right into the jar as well with the lemon juice. And then go ahead and grab some ice. I've got ice right here. And you're gonna to wanna to put that in with the lemon juice and the water. And I'm gonna fill it up until it's almost full. So put that in there. I'm using my hands because I'll be the one drinking this, but just to make sure it gets in there. Oops, that was too full. Too full. Okay, perfect. Now, now comes the sugar part. So you're gonna probably wanna sweeten your lemon shake up a little bit and how much you add is up to you. So there are a couple ways that you can sweeten your lemon shake up. A traditional one is sweetened with sugar. So I have put some sugar into a bowl here and I'm gonna show you that way, but another way you can do it is with light blue agave and you can get this just at any store um, this is a liquid sweetener and it tastes just like sugar and I use this a lot um, in place of sugar for things like iced tea or iced coffee when you don't want gran granulated sugar because sometimes granulated sugar in iced drinks can leave a little at the bottom and not fully mix in really well. So this is a really good option too and for the most part you can use the same amount um, as you would for sugar, but this one does say that it's 1.4 times sweeter than sugar. So you might wanna use a little bit less um, if you were making a big amount of something. But in general, if you're gonna use a tablespoon of sugar, you could use about a tablespoon of this too. Um, but for the most part, you're gonna to wanna to do this to taste. So 
What I would do is I would start with one tablespoon of sugar and see if you like the taste of it and then add more. I've already practiced this, so I know what I like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add, this is one tablespoon. And I know that I think it tastes best with two tablespoons. So I'm gonna add my second tablespoon. And then I'll place my jar or my lid on my jar and make sure it's on there really tight. Okay, yep, it's on there tight because nothing leaks when I do that. And then you're gonna wanna give it a bunch of really good shakes. Just like this. You can kind of stop and see how it looks. If you can see a lot of sugar still floating in there, probably wanna shake it a little bit more because you really want that sugar to dissolve as much as possible. So like I said, when it's when you're working with granulated sugar, you're gonna have a little bit that doesn't dissolve perfectly at first. That's okay. It looks so good, so delicious. And you can go ahead and just get yourself a straw. Give it a taste. Perfect. So that's it. That's a lemon shake up. So for this second shake-up recipe, we're gonna do something pretty similar, but with a little bit of a different flavor. So this bonus shake-up recipe is for strawberry limeade shake-ups. So follow along if you wanna try that flavor next. So you're gonna need one to two limes for this recipe, depending on how you like the flavor, or if you only have lemons, you could also make strawberry lemonade too. Also, you're gonna to wanna to go to a store that has frozen sliced strawberries. This isn't in every grocery store, so you'll wanna to go to the frozen aisle, um, either with the frozen fruit or frozen desserts. This one does come with sugar, so um, you can get them with sugar or without, and then you'll just have to change how much sugar you add. But mine does have sugar in it. And when you wanna make this recipe, you will want to defrost the strawberries so they'll be frozen solid when you get them so go ahead and put them in the fridge overnight or you can put them in the fridge for you know about five or six hours before you want to make it um, they can be a little bit frozen like um, you know a little hard still but you just don't want it to be solid because you need to be able to scoop it into your drink so we're going to do pretty much the same process as we did for the other shake up so let's go ahead and cut our citrus in half and then we will go ahead and juice it in our citrus juicer. And limes are a little harder to juice than lemons, so that's where this comes in really handy because they just are, for some reason, um, they're smaller and they're a little bit um, tougher for some reason than lemons, so this is where this comes in really handy. So you don't get as much juice out of limes either. They're smaller, like I said, and as you can tell, the lemons I got were really big. If you compare the two, look at the difference in these two. So you're gonna get, you're gonna need a lot more limes to get the same amount of juice. So I'll just keep juicing these. You go ahead and do the same. And if you're juicing them by hand, like I said, that's fine. Um, you can do it by eye. You could just do two whole limes, or you can measure it out if you want to be certain you have the right amount, because I guess all limes are different sizes. But you're going to want two tablespoons again, just like our last recipe. So I just finished juicing one whole lime, and I'm at about almost one and a half tablespoons. So I'm going to do another half here and see what that gets me. Remember, just push down. I have to push a little harder with the limes than I did with the lemons, but push down and turn. And I'm at almost two tablespoons, so I'm happy with that. I'll take the top off and put that into my ball jar. And then my next step, 
I'm gonna take a quarter cup measure and scoop out a quarter cup of the sweetened strawberries. And that's gonna go into my ball jar too. Looks a little sloppy, but I promise it tastes good. And then I'll take my water. Again, it's a half a cup of water. That goes in. It's filling up fast. And then we'll take our ice and measure that in. And the ice, again, you just fill it up until it's about full. But you want to leave enough room in there that you can give it a good shake and have space to shake it. So I'm going to use agave this time instead of sugar. So remember I said this one is a little sweeter than sugar, so I'm not going to add quite as much. I'll go ahead and add a full tablespoon of this. And remember that my strawberries also are sweetened. So again, depending on what you get, you can kind of decide if you want to add more or less agave. You could even try not sweetening it if you want and see just how it tastes. The strawberries are so sweet. Maybe you don't even want to sweeten it at all. Okay. Get that lid on nice and tight. And because there's no granulated sugar in this, we don't have to shake it quite as much as the last one. So I'm just gonna do a few good shakes. I can see the agave kind of coating the bottom, so I'll give it a couple nice shakes. Okay, that looks good. Get my straw. And remember, you're gonna have chunks of strawberry in here, so they might get stuck on your straw. You don't have to use a straw. I just like to. It's perfect. It's not too sweet, so I think I'm glad I only did the one tablespoon. If I'd done two full tablespoons, it would have been too sweet. So keep that in mind. Maybe um, start with just one tablespoon if you're doing agave. And if you're doing sugar, maybe just start with one tablespoon too. But both of these recipes, you can experiment. You can play around with the ingredients you put, can put in it. Um, you can try different things, like you can add fresh mint to your drinks. Um, you can do all different things and experiment, look online and see what else can go in to make your lemonade really special and really fun this summer. So I hope you enjoyed this edition of Kids Kitchen and thanks for joining us.